Hi everyone, my name is Jacob and I'm a member of the team here at Ubisend and today I'll be doing a five minute chatbot challenge. So what this will entail is within five minutes I'm going to build a chatbot where the widget matches the brand colours and the first few responses the chatbot gives out also match the brand's tone of voice. So which brand will we, we be focusing on today? And that will be Innocent. So as you can see on my screen here, they're a B2C soft drinks company focusing on smoothies, fruit juices, all the healthy goodness. They're very quirky, big, bold colours, very informal language, heavily B2C focused, and they're just kind of quite a fun and quirky brand. So we're going to be taking this branding and converting it into a chatbot setting within five minutes. So I'll see you back in the CMS. Uh, okay everyone, so we're back in the CMS and this is where I'll be completing the challenge. I'll be following the exact same process that all of our clients go through, just changing the widget and adding the FAQs. So the time limit should now be appearing in the top right and let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to the My Bot setting here. And this is where we change the appearance of the bot. And now Innocent, they're quite a fun brand, so we're going to change this welcome message here. This is the preview. I'm just going to put a hi with an exclamation mark because they're quite quirky and fun. And now we want to give the users kind of a call to action and let them know what the bot's for. So we're going to say something along the lines of, feel free to ask me about our drinks. Obviously, Innocent, they are quite fun. So let's have a little nip back to their website and see if we can steal some kind of fun inspiration. So it's all fancy a chat banana phone, callers on the banana phone there. Yeah, it's all quite random. So I think, yeah, we'll just put something a bit random here. So you can ask me about pop music. Uh, um, so as I don't have ears, I can't help with that. So we'll just put something a bit random, a bit quirky there. And so that's the welcome message all sorted out. So the next thing we're going to do is we want to change this color because innocent they are kind of quite color, bright and colorful. So what colors shall we go for? There's um, well, there's this big kind of bluey green there. So I think we can have a little look and have a little play with that. So we'll change up this banner setting and we'll go in and this gradient start and end color. This is where we change the colors. So as you can see, we've already started to get a bit of that blue come through, but they are a solid block color brand. So we'll make sure it's just, there's no gradient and bam, that's quite nice. But this obviously isn't their logo. So we'll scroll back up to the top. I've already added an instance logo in. That's just a quick drag and drop. We've all used one of those before. And then, all right, I quite like that, but I think the blue and the red is kind of clashing a little bit there. So, or is it a green and red? It's a difficult color to describe. I think, we could, well, I suppose we, no, we'll go for this yellow here. Yeah, I think that's quite on brand as well. So yeah, we'll go for that yellow. So I think there should hopefully, yep, we can just use one of the preset colors here. And yeah, I think that yellow looks much nicer there. So, and now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the message, the colors of the messages because that black isn't on brand. So we'll go down to message settings. This is where we can change the color. So we'll change the background color to the yellow as well, but it's a bit, garish and I'm not too sure on the usability of having the white text on the yellow background. So what I might do is I might quickly just change that text to black just to make the usability a little bit higher. And I might also just add and make this shade of yellow just a shade darker there. Oh, no, nope, I don't like that. We're going to keep it as it is actually. So perfect. All right. So how long are we doing for time? We've got about two and a half minutes in, two and a half minutes left. I think the next thing that I'm going to do is actually I'm going to move over and start adding the FAQs. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to press save. Don't want to lose our changes. Right, and then we're going to move over into the FAQs. So this is where we add the chatbot's responses. So we're going to click add FAQ and we're going to name this. This is just for internal use, but obviously the first thing you're going to be asking this chatbot is about the type of drinks. So we'll put this drink variety. So this will just be about how many drinks that they offer. As I said, that's just for internal use. So now how will people ask about the variety of drinks they sell? So someone might say, what kinds of drinks do, do you sell? Question mark. And they might also say, um, how many types of drinks do you sell? And then maybe a slightly more specific one, but we still want to keep it quite general. So let's go with a, do you sell smoothies? As I believe that's probably one of their biggest sellers. All right, so we'll click create. And now that, now we've moved on to typing our answer. So what we want to do is we want to try and answer the user's question as well as give a bit more information. So we're going to put something along the lines of we sell a wide variety of fruit juices and smoothies. You can view, oh, if I spell view correctly, our full collection here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add an action so that we can direct them to a web page. So we'll put view collection and we'll quickly, we've got a minute left, so I have to start speeding things up, nip back onto the Innocent Drinks website. 
And now this page here, this is their collection. So this is all the different catalog of drinks that they sell. And we'll just link the user to this page. So we'll come back in and add that there. And there we go. We've got, and now when the user clicks this button, they'll be taken to the website. But this isn't quite on brand what I've written here. So we're actually just going to go back in and re-edit it. We've only got 40 seconds left now. We'll put something a bit fun and a bit quirky. So we'll go with, ooh, ooh, ooh. Asking about our drinks. No, we won't put that. We'll put, ooh, I love it when people ask about our drinks. And then in brackets, those are my favorite. Ooh, really running out of time, less than 20 seconds now. Put a little exclamation mark and then close brackets and full stop. We'll leave it like that and now we'll click save. So there we go, we've now got our first FAQ inbuilt. And unfortunately, we have run out of time there. We've got basically just under five seconds left. So I'm going to pause the video and then give you a quick demo to show you, to show you what we've done. Okay, so here we are, we're now in the demo section of the CMS. As you can see, I've literally just scrolled down here to demo so we can test out what we've done. So as you can see, we've got a little chatbot window which says, hi, feel free to ask me about our drinks. You can ask me about pop music, but as I don't have ears, I can't help with that. So something a little bit weird and a little bit quirky. Not sure if Innocent would have liked that. Hopefully they do. And then it says, hi there, what can we help you with today? So the user will then enter, do you sell smoothies? Oh, I love it when people ask about our drinks. Those are my favorite. We sell a wide variety of fruit juices and smoothies. You can view our full collection here. And when I click view collection, sorry about my face disappearing there, um, it will then take us through to their drinks catalog. So within five minutes, we've been able to create a chat bot, which is on brand, directs users through to products. Obviously, that's not all you can do with, the, with the CMS. I'll just nip back into it here. This button here, which you can see on the screen, could easily be directing a user to, say, an employee handbook or to book a meeting room, or it could be some other type of e-commerce where you're actually trying to sell a product or upsell within the window. So you really can do anything within this. There's hundreds of use cases. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with us. We're always more than happy to talk things through with you. And if you want us to do a similar thing to your brand, if you want to be part of the chatbot challenge, feel free to just get in touch. Use the contact us link in the description below, and we'll have a look five minutes and have a play with your brand and see what we recommend.